All right, wives asleep, kids asleep, let's play some video games. My name is Nat John Smith and today we're playing Traveler's Rest. And as you can see, today dropped the new patch 0.6.1 with the drinks and uh, staff system update. Um, and we are going to try it out while it's still hot and fresh, yay! Welcome to version 0.6.1 Inkeeper. This new version adds a new system for hiring employees. Okay, a guest has ended this day. Yep. Um, in addition, we added an encyclopedia where you can review the controls and basic mechanics. You can access it from the pause menu. Thanks for playing. Okay. Room rental has been changed. We'll now ha You will now need to have a reception table set up in your dining room for new guests to arrive. Okay. You should now have one in your inventory uh, or in the delivery chest. Okay, the first thing went away without me being able to read it. Um, you can go back and pause the video if you want to see what you what it said. Uh, well, I can do that after I finish this recording. Um, all alcoholic beverages must now be aged before they can be served. Wow. Um, to do this, use the new aging barrels that you'll find in your tavern cellar. Okay, I have the cellar unlocked, but what about when I when I begin a new game I don't have the cellar then or is it maybe now unlocked from the beginning on uh, okay uh, well still we are going to do um, something here another dark malted barley uh, I guess another stout wart oh that looks different now awesome I want to do a mild ale with aroma hops, bitter hops and dual hops and a brown ale with pear, lime and dual hops. And we want to cook something. Grilled steak, chicken meat steak, why not? And I don't know. Uh, I do not have onions. Okay, well then let's do some more bread. Okay, so now let's head down into the cellar. Uh, to age drinks, just add them to your aging barrels and let time pass. As time passes, the drink will level up and increase the price up to the maximum of grand reserve. Approaching the aging keg and press the cube to open the menu and place the beers inside. Drinks can be aged for several days, but they only need one day before they can be served. Wait until the beer is ready by working at the tavern or sleeping so time passes faster. Um, I, I had something in there. I guess that's that's now gone. Or is it the... Did the stout come, come back to my inventory? think so oh okay I can place 20 in oh yeah that's that's already I guess I guess we're, we're going to put that in the in the book and sell it because that already has this thing so I guess it's aged let's put the amber ale in there and okay it says unaged now yeah that's I guess that's ready to drink and that's unaged so put the pot in there okay that means we need more aging barrels uh, interesting concept, yeah. Okay, what do we have here? It's new stuff. Fill the cat bowl. What's that? There are now two types of dispensers, the taps and the serving kegs. The taps can only hold carbonated drinks such as beer, while the kegs can hold the rest of beverages. Remember that a color can be assigned to each beverage from the beverage dispensers to make it easier to identify drink orders. Um, so we're going to put the tea in there. Color green. And stout in there. Color red. No, color, I don't know. Purple. Oh, it will it will automatically take the color now. Yeah. Okay. So. 
Can I still have... Well, that doesn't go in there. Can this... I oh, cannot put the stout in there now. Okay. And I also can't put the tea in there. Can I can't put the soup in there. Okay. So... That changes some things. We need more of these barrels. And we'll, we'll have to do this... Well, can only hold 20, right? If I pour a drink now... Now the drink has been added to your tray. You will be able to see the drinks on your tray above the action bar. Okay. I have a green drink here, that's the tea. You can return the drinks from your tray to the dispenser by holding down the R key or by, cl or by clicking the icon on the right of the drinks on your tray. You can see the beverage table on the right side of the bar. When a customer orders from the table, an indicator appears and will open up as you move closer to it. As well as seeing current orders, you can also drop off and pick up drinks at the beverage table, which will be very useful when there are multiple people, multiple people working at the tavern, whether they are your friends or your employees. So if I press now R... Okay, the T is back in there. Um, okay, I'm, I'm gonna check the rooms upstairs. I guess... This guy already left. That's new. Come on, clean it. Make the bed. And put the candle back there. Okay, uh, so... Knock. Slept well, thank you. Okay, thanks. Um... Well, thanks to you, sir. And I guess the candle is good enough. Okay, so now I need to place down the reception desk in order to be able to get new... Um, uh, uh, you know, uh, get new guys uh, to sleep in the room. So, we'll do that for now. That's just temporary, but uh, I don't want to spend too much time now uh, fiddling around with with this stuff. Okay, so now we, we have those things set up. I think we want to, I don't know, make some more bread. Uh. Oh, no fuel. Okay, we can make another grilled steak, so let's do that. And more dark malted barley. Another stout wort, yeah. And we're gonna place those things here. Uh, I guess we also wanna do a chest in the cellar for the unaged stuff now, maybe? Um gonna put 20 bread in there for the next hamburgers or something yeah okay I think I think we're good here pet the cat let's see what what's new on the outside before we open the tavern uh, do we have something in here oh cherries onion seeds and Oh, and I think that's that's another season. That looks like I don't know, maybe uh, fall. Nice. Guess we need more stones. Uh, if I, well, if I read that correctly, the uh, seasons are now implemented, but um, but for now there's only a visual change. So. No gameplay mechanics tied to that uh, yet, but um, yeah, I, I understood that this will come later. Okay, we got our um, I don't know. Uh, we got our our <coughs> incense burner and and. Um, 
iron marks uh, from there. Open the door, please. Close the door. Food for the chickens. Fill that. Uh, Poppy, you are a new one. Pan Pan, I think you were the older one, so we'll still need to wait before we can slaughter you. But that's fine. Okay, I got the eggs. Let's leave again. Let's harvest some coal. I think it's refreshing that this looks now different. I like it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I'm. I'm not sure how. Well, we'll see how that how that works out. But the um, that I can only have. O uh, well, that that all drinks must now go in in a barrel. Well, I guess. I guess it's fine. Um, it well, it it makes you have to think more about what you, what you uh, um, brew and stuff. So that you don't have too many different um, beverages. I guess I guess I'm fine with that. Uh, we have more onion seeds. Let's plant them. Okay, awesome. Collect water. Get more stones. Why is there a piece of grass lying around? Okay, plant fiber. And let's uh, let's harvest those two coal thingies, and then we're going to have a look at the new staff system, and then we're going to open the tavern. Okay, so let's see. Uh, well, hold on. That's the orders. Hold on. Do we have? We have a juicy cup of tea. Do I want to? Do want to do that? Twenty-eight XP. Why not? Where is the rest? Did I had forty-eight, and now all all of the forty-eight are gone. Whatever. An important guest is visiting on Friday and it's Tuesday, that's fine. Okay, here you can see available prospective employees. There are four types, but you can only hire one of each. The police can have up to three positive traits and one negative trait. As your reputation increases, you will be able to hire higher level workers with better traits. This panel shows the profession points available, which can be assigned to improve an employee's traits. Employees' maximum hourly wages are also listed. Once you've hired them, you can lower their wage by reducing their trades levels or removing tasks from their schedule. Wow. Um, so that's um, a little bit more complex now. Okay. Fills order. Yeah, bartender um, fills orders and leaves drinks prepared at the beverage table for you or a waiter to serve them. Okay, we have. Is this paused now? I don't know. Let's check that. Uh, it's now, well, something o'clock. Paul Kelly, 4 stars, 10 silver, 23 copper per hour. Price of cocktails served. Well, don't need that. We don't have cocktails. Plus 20% chance of not taking breaks during work hours. Valued. William White, you are less expensive. Garden Fresh. Plus 50% price of vegetarian dishes served. Cocktails and no novice puller. Okay, takes quite a uh, takes um, longer to pull drinks from the tap. Stephen Green, five star. Early bird, price of product served before 4 p.m. Chance of offering the most expensive product on the menu, but 
50% chance of employee breaks taking twice as long. Wow. Emily Ward, 13 per hour. Sober drinker. Price of little age drinks. Friendliness, reputation, extra. Sommelier, price of wines. But also lower um, pulling speed. Okay, then we have a waiter. Emma Morgan. Gleaming, gleaming table. Let me check if the time passed. No, it didn't. Perfect. Uh, okay, table cleaning speed. Uh, minus chance of floor stains. Minus chance to penalization for reputation for dirtiness. Okay. Won't clean tables until there are three dirty dishes. Well, that's not good. Jonathan Bailey. Uh, plus 6% price of aged drinks. Friendliness, reputation with orders, maladroitness. Can carry one fewer drinks. Friendliness, price of wine, floor cleaning speed, less table cleaning speed. And alley, reputation when the tavern is clean. Price of little age drinks, floor cleaning speed, bouncer, deals with customers who are being a nuisance and stops employees from taking overly long breaks. Okay, uh, hold on, what did that say? Serves already prepared drinks at the tables, cleans the floor and the tables. So Jeffrey Jenkins, oh, that guy's quite cheap. Plus 20% chance of customers sit at already occupied tables. Okay, whatever that means. Lazy. Plus 50% chance of taking a break. Well, Samuel Bennett. Hard worker. Chance of not taking breaks during work hours. Chance of customers seated already occupied tables. Reaches work 40 minutes late when the tavern opens. Well, that's great. Emma Davis. Minus chance employees will take a break. Customers order the most expensive product and uh, extra chance of customer complaints. Hmm. Donald Cox, he's the cheapest one. Minus 10% penalization for your reputation when customers complain. Minus 5% maximum customer capacity. Okay, and then we have a housekeeper manages the rent and room services as well as helping with the tavern's upkeep. Price of non-alcoholic drinks served. Price of guest rooms. Ten percent chance of forgetting to light the chimney. Oh, that's that's what I always do. Well, not anymore, but I used to. Um, Dennis Allen. Minus ten percent employee hourly wage. Plus thirty percent chance of not taking breaks during work hours. Chance of forgetting to light the chimney. Uh, duration of chimney fuel, extra, extra duration, extra price of product served before 4 p.m. Chance of guests reducing the stay by one day. Elegant presentation, reputation when dish is served, 12% reputation when the tavern is clean. Move, uh, slow movement speed. Okay, wow, so... Um, my first thought is that this looks really nice, but also I think uh, everyone is more expensive than it was before, right? I hired two guys, uh, the bartender for eight silver and the, and the floor cleaner guy also for eight or something. And also I, I, don't, I don't get how the profession points thing works, but we'll find that out. Um, I'm just tempted to hire uh, one, of, um, one, of, uh, one of each kind just to show you um, but yeah I think we're going to do that uh, and if, if that's not a good idea then we'll not do that in the next in the next episode uh, but which one do I want to take I guess the cheapest ones price of vegetarian dishes served I mean I guess we do have vegetarian dishes the soup with the vegetable soup we don't have cocktails <sighs> minus 25% speed pulling drinks from tap. Well, I'll be I'll be in the tavern this episode, so that should not be a problem. We're going to take William White. Uh, 
Okay. And f as a waiter, well, they're also very expensive. What about you, Ellie? Price of little aged drinks. That's I think we have a standard aged porter in there now. Yeah, let's take Ellie Clark. And Donald Cox is the least expensive one. Maximum customer capacity. That's probably not a good idea, but still. Well, I think I think we're going to take Jeffrey Jenkins. I don't want the lower customer capacity. He'd rather take a break. Whatever. Jeffrey Jenkins. And housekeeper. We are going to take Dennis Allen. Because he's by far the cheapest one. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now... Well, ah, I see. I don't have. I don't hire them now. They'll come now. But they'll they'll arrive when I open the bar, right? The tavern. Your first employee will start working as soon as you open the tavern. Okay. You get some more information about your employees by clicking. What? Full stop. No, nothing happened. Okay. Let's 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 see what happens. Let's open the tavern. Fill the cat bowl and check on our stuff here. Let's do meats too. Oh, we need vegetarian dishes. Whatever, stuffed chicken. Dark malted barley. Uh, dark wort. A black ale with cherry, lime, and dual hops. And another black ale with cherry, lime, and dual hops. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, someone's. Your new waitress has arrived at the tavern. Remember that waiters will not pull drinks for taps. Yeah. Orders need to be ready at the beverage table so that waiters can serve them. Okay. Uh, your new bartender has started working. Remember that the bartender will not bring the drinks to the tables, but will leave them ready at the beverage table. It will be up to you or a waiter to pick them up and bring them to the customer's table. Okay. The housekeeper is ready to start work. Unlike waiters, housekeepers do pull drinks from taps, so you won't have to worry about preparing orders for them. In addition to taking care of the rooms, they will also help with the tavern's upkeep, lighting the fireplace, refilling the candle holders. Oh cleaning the dining room floor. They will refill the candle holders, so where do I need to put the candles? You now have bouncers among your employees. Bouncers will deal with customers who are being a nuisance and make your employees return to the post if the breaks are too long. Okay, I will I will place candles in here. Can't. Uh, grilled steak. Bread. Cup of tea doesn't work. The unaged drinks don't work. Okay, I think we have to buy um, one, one more of those things. Do I have enough money? Don't know. Oh, look at the look at those guys. Very nice. Where are the guests? Yeah, come on in. Yeah, I'm not surprised that you want to drink a stout because we don't have anything else. Oh, was it the porter? Can't remember. Now my magic broom is unemployed. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm liking that so far. Uh let's see if we can order more uh aging barrels. Um crafters? Cheesery. Is that new or did I just never see that? Oh uh, well, let's let's wait with that. Uh, I hope we we do get um, brewing probably. No, where is it? Do I have enough yeast? Let's get more lager yeast. 
more ale yeast. Hold on, that's too expensive. I'm not sure what the uh, aging barrel costs. So, can I? How can I remove everything here? Cancel. Yeah. Uh, aging. No. Barrel. Do I have to build it? Aging barrel. 20 wooden planks, 25 iron nails, and 5 coal. Okay. Well, in that case... Nails. We should have enough nails. We should have enough nails in here, right? Nope, where are my nails? In here? Yeah. Uh, 25, right? And I guess we should make some more. Um, 20 planks, yeah, that means we need to cut down some trees. Is that is this one already uh, the largest stage? This one looks very big, and and this one maybe as well. We'll, we'll see. You have an order for room service. Drinks ordered from the rooms will be notified at the reception desk. To serve them, just pull a drink from the tap, bring it to the room. If you have a hired housekeeper, they will take care of room service. Okay. We uh, will will go inside and have a look at that. Right. Right when I've finished um, starting the production of planks. With eight wood, do I get twenty planks? Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Oh wow, everything's full in here. Very nice. So... Okay. And where where does this go now? Can I? How do I take this? Oh well, well, I probably have to do it from here. Do I? Yeah. Nice. Okay, th that's that's funny. There you go. Where is our bouncer? Does he do his stuff? Because uh, everybody's complaining here. Oh, that's a guy from the from the room. Do you order something now? Oh no! <coughs> Sorry, that was my employee. Of course, I knew that. I wanna I wanna do more table um, service stuff. That's funny. Oh. Okay. The Somehow the d these candles are, are replenished. Where did where did he take the candles from? Oh, now there's a there's a an employee taking a break. Sometimes employees go out to rest for a few minutes. If you think the break time is excessive, you can always approach them and make them return to the post. Um, you are taking a break. Okay, that means I have to do the the um, table service and cleaning. Nothing is dirty. Perfect. So, are the candles for free? Quote unquote, when the housekeeper does that? Maybe. Oh yeah, table service! There you go. Oh, she's back. Okay, that was not a very long break. Um, I have to say, I, I really enjoyed this update so far. That's That, that takes the whole, um, you know, in feeling to a new level. 
Now we can put more stout in there. Uh, I guess I should help this guy. Can I? Okay, I can't pre put a beer there. Where is where is my yeah bouncer now tells this guy to pipe down great uh, why did why did that guy not light the fire where where is he oh okay there you go. I'm gonna have to try to do that without stuff in a future episode. I guess that won't be possible. Uh, who wants who wants a drink? You. Do I still have to? Of course, I have to pull that now. No longer cheesing around with putting the drinks in the book. I guess that's fine. Um, it's quite dark in here. Let's. Place a uh, candle here. There you go. Okay. Now I should should check on the stuff in the kitchen. Okay, no more meat left. Um, well, I have this guy that gives me extra money for vegetarian stuff. So let's do uh, vegetarian soup. What is that? Parsley, onion, potato. Soup, parsley, onion, potato. I guess another dark malted barley. Why not? Um, let's make an amber wart. A biscuit ale with, I don't know, apple, mango, dual hops. We finished the black ale, let's make a porter with lime, aroma hops, bitter hops, lime, aroma hops, dual hops, why not. We can put the onion in there. Add fish. Yep. And I probably should have done that way earlier. Meat stew. Stuffed chicken. Um yeah, I guess I guess that's it, right? Um are you guys do can you handle that on, on your own? I I think I also can put more tea in there. Yeah. Let's see if I guess there is nothing aged yet, right? Oh, we have a progress bar. That's great. So how does that work? Uh, they want. Oh, in this panel you can see all the rooms and the features. The icons next to the room's names are used to identify. Oh, nice! And will also appear on the, on the room's doors. The characteristics of the rooms are its status, size, type, and comfort. Each customer will ask you for different requirements for their room, and the price will be halved if the room you assign them does not meet their expectations. Wow! Rooms which are already occupied or dirty cannot be rented. For a room to be assigned, it must at least have the basic furnishings. Light, table, chair and bed, be free and clean. Okay, and they, they both want food. How, how can I do that? Uh, don't really get that. Oh, 
I can teleport the food up there. That's great. Okay. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um Yeah, I think I think I really need to get the aging barrels going. What's the time? Oh, we still have some time left here. I guess I need more than one. We are going to need a ton of them. More iron nails. More aging barrels. What's that? Stores beverages ready to be served. Okay, that's for... Uh, for the for the dining room behind the bar, right? I think we want to get the second aging barrel first and then a keg. More wooden planks. Time to cut down trees um, again, I guess. Get more mortar. We still want to do that some. Oh, let's get the let's get all these things out here. We still want to get um, the, you know, building going. Uh, the the expansion of our of our tavern, but now it's more important to get um, more aging barrels. This tree looks like a big tree. Hopefully, it is. pieces of wood. I don't know if that's the maximum amount. Where is the sprout? The chestnut sprout. Eight. There you go. This tree looks like a small tree. Mm, not sure. How much water did I use? Wow. Um... I don't know. I'm, I'm going to cut that down. Those two lo look small. Well, the, the the trunk is not very thick. So, okay, this one was small as well. That's a shame. Only two pieces of wood. Yeah, so we'll we'll let the, the rest grow. Uh, the ancient barrels are done. Planks, keg, more planks. I guess even more iron bars, more nails. Not enough fuel. Come on. Okay. Uh, so someone wants food. What are you doing? That's uh, creepy. I think I think that guy's bugged out. I think I can do without a housekeeper. Um, in, uh, in the next episode. Let's walk down into the cellar and place the new aging barrels. Oh, maybe, maybe here. Then you don't have to go that far. Can I move that? Currently crafting. Can't. Okay, well. Um, black ale. And brown ale. I don't know. Someone's complaining down here, but we have a bouncer, so that should be all right. A roasted fish with lime, leek, and a sage. Lime, leek, and sage. Let's do a second roasted fish with lime, leek, and not tea, sage. Okay. Malted barley. Uh, 
groundward, I don't know. Yeah, we're good here. Oh, oh, it's time to go to bed. Uh, hold on, close the tavern immediately. I didn't check the, the time, that was not the best idea. Oh, can't put the tea in there anymore, yeah. Oh, also we have now these things to improve the room. I hope I that I don't forget that. In the next episode maybe there is room service wanted upstairs, so let's do that quickly. Yeah, you are totally bugged out. Okay, do I do I have the time to bring you your beer? Um, I shouldn't do that. I should not do that. Oh no, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass out. Wow, that doesn't even work anymore. Great. Put out the fire. Put that back. No, can't. Well, let's go to bed with beer in our hands. No. Sleep? Yes. Oh, that was close. Okay. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this first look at the new systems from the new patch. I certainly did. Yeah, please subscribe if you like this content to see more of the new patch stuff in the next episode. And until then, have a good one. Bye bye.